You guys are shy as accomplices, uh, you know, in this movie. Like, what was the what was the process of sort of like you guys collaborating? I mean, in terms of uh, you know just playing working together, but also sort of negotiating your individual relationships. I don't know if we ever you know, spent that much time figuring out a working relationship, and I don't know whether I'm young enough in this business to, know, to wonder if that's the, what you're supposed to do. Mm. Um, but we kind of just showed up and we're like, "Hey, you're cool. You're 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 you're." You're fun to be around. Let's just play, you know. And so, I think we were sort of. And DJ was great at giving us the freedom to just kind of find uh, what worked as far as a system of of, uh, of improving or or you know working out beats in a scene and all that stuff. And then you just stand around and wait to get insp inspiration from the people you're working with, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really didn't rehearse all that much, actually. We did a lot of stuff. We were just playing around, and we were filming it usually every time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Which is either a crash and burn, or it's genius. You know, it's, just, it's, it's either one or the other. If you're just like, we're not really sure what we're going to do in this take, but let's just do it, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, there's so much going on in this movie. I mean, in terms of there's a lot of character, individual character development and these kind of like subplots going on. And then, of course, there's sort of the thriller element. Like, how tough is it to maintain, like, to do like a, a, like a, a romance sort of story and then like a, for you, like the, the friendship story and then at the same time, like sort of addressing the overriding plot of, you know, finding out that this guy's a killer. That's one of the greatest attractions to the film, I think, is because you do get to play around with all those things. It does have a whole bunch of fun moments. It has the romantic sweet moments. And there's nothing better than the, the thrills at the end. Right, and you, I guess you, what, you, what, you, what you try and figure out as you're going along is like uh, where you're at in the story. And it helps to have someone like DJ who is who knows, who's plotted every single moment and point in this movie and he would come up to me at one point and he'd be like all right and then this and this and this and this and he'd start walking away and he'd turn around and be like oh no funny I was like I'd be like right right no funny right right this is the this is the killer with the bat scene no funny no funny <laughs> all right all right I'm good I'm good and sometimes I would still forget the fun but you know what you have the person there who you trust to tell you where how the tone has been tweaked for the certain scene that you find yourself in on any given day mm -hmm. Well, so is it easy being, uh, do you have to be smarter than your character to play kind of a guy who makes a lot of bad decisions and, you know, stuff? No, like you just have to, you just have to have a brain wired in a way or wire your brain in a way where you just, you simply just do and then think later or don't think at all. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sort of just like running on, running a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Well, would you, uh, you know, for a guy to stalk you, would, would, would uh, is this the, the cutest uh, stalking? Uh, that that you would in in real life be okay with, or would pretty much like the point at which he uh, you know you found out that he had been watching you that would be the deal breaker, so to speak. Uh, well, what made it work in this movie for Ashley and Kale, I think, is the moment when she first sees him. He's getting arrested on the lawn, and she feels trapped in her house as well. And I think there's a very mutual feeling between them. There's a connection there. Mm -hmm. So I think she's intrigued from the first moment she sees him mm -hmm. and she takes her first chance to get out of her house and come on over and give the boys a hard time. <laughs>